Hey guys, so we are going to be running through Twin Machine and the power it has in Cascador. So this is an extremely useful tool. So in Twin Machine, here we have an uh, animation that's not done. So you can see that the arm kind of pops forward there. So what we can do is we can just select one point. You can do this in which mode you want, basically. So I'm just going to take this and just to visualize it, we're just going to highlight the curve. And then you can see that on this frame, they are really, really close. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this to previous frame, somewhere around this. Now they look much, much more even. And then we can tweak it as we want. Now you see it's much, much smoother. You know, I'm going to double click this one to get these ones as well. Right click the neck. So what we're going to do is that. Let's see. This one, then we're going to go to. Select the frames, local relative, only keyframes. And then we're going to take previously like this. And now the arm is holding the same. But this we could have done in other ways. The beauty in it is that you don't have to go 100%. So one or minus one is 100%. But what if we go like 80? We will still keep some of the motion, but it will be relatively close. So now it still has some motion. And this way you can kind of give it a life because now it's all over the place and looks weird. But let's say I want it to be 40% more. And now he looks much stronger in the way that he handles his arm. Super fast and I would like to have a little bit more control. So I will just take a frame here and then we can take the foot bone, the whole foot. And this time we can do it in this mode. So select this one and then we're going to just drag this so we can see. So as you can see, they are pretty even and are slowing down there. So what I would want is uh, current frame go back to global and not relative and only keyframes. So what I'm going to do is that I wanted to keep a little longer up like this. Now it's slower in the beginning and then it takes up the speed to get the balance again. And it fits more with the movement of the other leg. And here you can see that the arm isn't following. So then we can do the same. We can go to tween machine, to the neck bone again, or maybe the chest this time. Then we go to the next one. Uh, remember to activate this. And now it will have a natural movement and smooth. So what we can do is that we can select all these and then we go down again to Twin Machine and then we take Interpolation Average and then we can go to Global Relative again. Double click this. Let's right click neck bone and then we're going to go to selected frames and then we want to average them. And now you can see you don't have that much wiggle, but you have a little of it, right? So this is just a reload animation. But I'm not happy with how long 
the hand takes when it's down there. So we have entry point doing something with finger, but it's all the way here. So what we can do is then if we select this bone, we will see that this is here. So you get one, two, and that's one moving. So what we could do is just basically either we could take a frame in between and then we just take this one, double click this, go down to the tween machine, make sure now it can be in global current frame. And we give about 40%. Then we can remove the frames that we made. And there you go. It looks much better. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I hope to see you in the next one. Sub like and bye bye.